Welcome back, everybody, to a brand new season and a brand new episode of a brand new game. Well, the game's not brand new. I've been playing this, you know, for a while now, years. It's been out for a long, long, long while, probably eight plus years. So it's not a new game, but we're going to be bringing this to the channel because I was like, you know what? I throw people in jail, right? So we play the part of throwing the, the criminal in jail. Why not play the part of actually maintaining and building a prison? And that is the goal of this game is to build up a great prison and you start from nothing. There's nothing on this map except uh, our deliveries and our garbage, a uh, little plot right here, and our work is being delivered now. That's it. So we're going to take this empty plot and make it into a very great prison. Um, it's been a while since I have played this, so I got to catch up on a lot. But we're going to try to do this. I started with $100,000 just to kind of ensure you know, I won't fail <laughs> pretty much in the beginning. Uh, some people start with 30,000, 50,000, 70. It, it, you can start whatever you want. 200,000. I chose that 100 band uh, because, you know, I feel like I deserve it. So let's get into it. The first episode is going to be a lot of building, like everything, like with City Skylines, EU4. We do a lot of building. So that's what we're going to do. And if you guys, you know, like the game or whatever, you can comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. I love hearing your opinions and things. But let's go ahead and get on started. And I want to first make a little walkway right here. I need to go rooms. Let's take one of those off. We'll do something like that. This can stay here for the most part. Let's get it off of that, though. We'll do that. Okay. First things first. Uh, let me go to my... I need to go to my little side tab. I need... How do I open it? Reports. There we go. This is pretty much our thing where we can see anything in the jail, like prisoners. We can see how many prisoners we have, how many prisoners we're going to be taking in. We can control what we take in, what we don't take in, things like that. And then uh, the jobs that the prisoners can have in there, their needs, of course, and all kind of stuff and, you know, the things they do. So uh, we have to wait on that. But these are the thing. These grants are what can bring us money. You can only choose two at a time. So I'm going to look at some of these and see what we can do to get it going. Uh, let's see. Hire two. I mean, build two offices. Hire a warden. Unlock finance. Hire an accountant. Medical ward. We're going to have to wait on the medical ward. We're not worried about that. Staff well-being. Build a staff room. So what I'm going to do is. Okay. Build a holding cell, a shower, a yard, kitchen, canteen, two guards, two cooks. Let's do these two. This gives us $20,000 and then $10,000 when we're done. And an administrative gives us a $5,000 advance payment within a $5,000 uh, completion. Let's get that. So now we're at $125,000. So we got a little bit more money to play with. Let's go ahead and start building. I like for my things to be even. Um, I like for it to you know, be uniform. But you know, with the lack of money, somewhat lack of money, we're pretty rich right now. But you know, we'll get there. I don't want to overspend trying to build a, a, a perfect prison. We just need something to get started, get us some money, and then we'll keep building off of that system right there. So I think the first thing we do, we do need is a reception room, and I think this is going to be it. Is this big enough, though? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at me. get. Look at me. I'm getting it right. Okay. So we'll go ahead and build that. We need an entrance for that. This will be the reception area. This is going to be where our when we do get prisoners, like if these guys on this, my, my construction workers, if they are prisoners, they will come in just like this, walk through this area right here, and then go through this door, and they'll get booked in. Um, of course, not on their own free will. They'll be handcuffed. Let's get some doors in. They change some stuff around. Hang on. Get my mic right. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's do... I think the first thing we're going to do is a minimum security. No, we're doing medium security. I want all medium security. So we're going to do minimal is going to be gray. Of course, the medium is going to be orange. Maximum uh, red. Uh, protection is going to be yellow. So they need to go on that. So let's do this one. What do you call that? Protection. Uh, protective custody. That's what it is. Protective custody. I, I couldn't figure out what it was. Protective custody is what it is. We'll build a large jail door here. And this will be how we get started. And we'll build off of that. We'll let them just go. I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, sim through the game uh we'll go very slowly at first well while they build we can speed it up guys oh they're waiting on materials to get delivered so everything you do food everything has to be delivered on the road and that's what these guys are doing now so i think when i first start off i think i just want to do one building one just large building with everything they need in it a yard probably in the center of it so they don't they never have to leave this building 
And then as we go, I'll probably turn this into the minimum security and move them, you know, further back somewhere just in case. But for now, I guess it works. Let's speed it up. These guys, they build pretty quick. Um, as we go on, we're going to need more and more and more of them. But for now, this works out. They should be done now. Yep, there it is. And it's completed. So uh, let's see. Let's see. We could do something like this. A reception area should not need any specific... It just has to be indoors. Okay. I'm trying to see. Let's do reception here. It can be out in the open. The door can be here. And then I can build some offices for our, uh, so we can get our tech. If you don't know what that is, I can't open it right now because I don't have a warden yet. So once we get the warden, we'll be able to open it and we can research to unlock certain things. I think our office has to be what? Four by four? And then as we keep going on, I make the offices bigger and bigger and bigger, and I'll relocate them, you know, so they're not here. But it needs to be four by four. So one, two, three, four. We're going to go five. One, uh, one, two, three, four. So, nope. Three, four. One, two, three, four. So something like that. One, two, three, four. One. Okay, that, that, that just happened to work out. Okay. So we got... Two offices so far, which is all we should need to start off with. Uh, so let's go ahead and get a door on those. For them, we'll do a staff door so they can just have the key and get in there. Prisoners won't have access to that room, so we won't have to worry about that. Let's do, we'll do here and here. We need to designate the room to office and office. And then for them, we'll do, all they need is a chair and a desk and a, a book, a book, a filing cabinet. That's what they need. Can I, how do I rotate right here? How do I want to do it? Give me a desk. We'll do something like that. I think that's nice. And then the filing cabinet can go right by the door. Or it really could have just went here. I like that. Lots of open space. Let's make sure they have a light in here. Uh, we'll put it right over there. We'll put it like right here. He already has a light, so he's good. Okay, for the reception area, I'm, I'm, I'm not spending too much money, which is really good. For the reception area, and as you zoom into things, it'll tell you exactly what you need. We need to get an office desk. I normally line the front of it up with an office desk uh, just to make sure we're not taking up too much space. I might do something like this. Oh, uh, no. Who's making all the morning sounds? What's going on with you, buddy? You just started working, man. I'll start all that. We can do something like that for now. Uh, let's do, we'll do two by two just so I can have an extra person. And that, when I say extra person, they're, they're not going to sit in the desk, but it, I, I just like for things to look nicer, okay? So behind them, they need tables. We'll do these long tables here and here. We can do one. Give me the small tables. I really don't want them behind them like that. Maybe something like that. So it's indoors. We have the office desk. We have the tables and we, ooh, and I have the chairs. Okay, we're good. Let them build that out. Uh, we'll zoom through that really quick. I'll slow them down so I can kind of start thinking about my next thing. So next thing's next. We got the reception area. Now we need a holding cell. I think I'm going to do the holding cell most likely off of this. That's so if they don't have a cell, they can just go like straight through this door and go to the holding cell. So let's, let's build that now. It can just be like a small little thing here. Yeah, we can do that. And then for the entrance, we can just do a jail door. We'll do a yellow one, a small yellow one like here. I know I got I to gotta set up my utilities. I forgot all about those. We could do that like another part of the office. Maybe something like... Maybe something like that. 
And then we can have the we can all we need is staff doors for this. We can have a staff door here and a staff door here, so they can go. You know, the, the construction crew if they need to go in here and fix something or whatever the case is, they can go through here. If it burns up, the fire department can go through here. Or if they're trying to, or if they want a little shortcut, they can just go through there. But you also have to make sure because in this game, you get you can have contraband and all kind of things. So you have to make sure that these guys aren't bringing things in, in your prison because if they walk in, they get searched down or whatever. But they catch one of these guys walking through the hallway. They can take some wire or whatever they got on them. If they got a machete. They can snatch that off of them and use that to their own advantage. Uh, they're going to build that. I'm going to let them build that first. And uh, we'll keep it going. There we go. It's looking really nice to start off with, though. Once we get some lights, it'll be a lot better. These guys are working really hard. We'll build them a staff room really quickly. Oh, I can, I can hire my warden now. I'm tripping. Let's get our warden in. He'll take whatever office he wants to take. He took that one. And now we can start researching our stuff so that, that we have an idea. What we got for this, what do we need? Yeah, to complete this, we need to hire an accountant. So we'll hire an accountant. And what else? Unlock finance Do Okay. So this is what they want us to do. And we got we to gotta unlock finance and hire an accountant. Next, I would want to go to possibly... Most likely security. We'll just do that for now. We'll let them start on that and they'll, they'll keep going. We'll do something like that. They're done with this room. Let's get utilities ready to go. Oh, they separated it now. The game has changed so much. They actually, unlike like Friday the 13th, they actually do updates to this game. So which is really good. So electrical and water are split up. We can do this like that. And then for the electrical, we need these compa capacitors around it. But it has to be built first, of course. Come on, team. I know. I'm working y'all to death. I know, baby. Don't worry about it. And we have power. Somewhat. That was built actually really quickly. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to utilities. We'll go and build some more capacitors around this to make it even more powerful. And then I will take this and we will branch this out through here. And that should get everything. We'll do something like that. For the water, the water's pretty good. We don't need it so far. We'll drag a line probably, you know, up here, through here, to the uh, to this room. The water is used for, like, toilets, showers, things like that. I do have prisoners coming in in the morning, so I don't have too much time. If I could just build, like, a holding cell for now, it can store them in the holding cell, and they, they just got to chill there until I get, you know, a home for them. I really don't want minimum security. I might have to take them, though. No. I'll, ta I'll take the two minimum. I guess for now, we'll just be shared, and then later, I'll separate it. Okay, we have power. Everybody's good now. Let's keep on going. Uh, next, let's go ahead and make this the holding room right here. We need a holding room. Holding cell. We'll do that. In here, we need a toilet. We need a, a bench. It needs to be minimum five times five, which is good. We already got that. And then clothes, we got that as well. So let's get it. Let's do some long benches because it's going to be a long time in here. We'll do something like that and that. And then we could do like a small bench. We can have those like... Uh, this, this room's not even, is it? No. Uh, it's not even. Let's make it even, cause uh, that, that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna bother me. Cool. I'll just keep building while they're doing that, cause I gotta hurry up, cause we can't get prisoners in here without if I don't get my stuff done. So we're racing against the clock pretty much. We'll do the small benches here, and then uh, once they move that, I could just do small benches here, and then we'll you know do that later. Next, we need to hit like a little shower room. So they can use the toilet and they can also shower. I normally do something like this. And I just put the toilet probably. We can really do something like this. 
I wish I could turn off those moaning sounds, yo. Like, what are you, what are you doing over there? You ain't did no hard work today. They're probably tired out there. Ooh. We could do a shower here. Oh gosh, hold on. No, there we go. A shower there, and then we could do the toilets there. This is so ugly. Um, they're gonna. Hey, I'm gonna let them work. They're gonna extend that. Oh, that does not. That did not go as planned. Hold on. If I just do this. Okay. I uh, broke all my walls. Golly. Build that back. Build this back. Build that back. Build that back. And then for rooms, let's go holding cell. Let's let's do redo that. Okay. And I guess they're just going to have one shower for now. They're going to have to share. Or I could do two showers. Let's do that. I could do two showers like that. Two toilets, two showers. That's all they got for right now. Um, it shouldn't be. It, the holding cell, my holding cells are normally empty. There should be nobody in holding cells like that. So we'll just build these right here so the water doesn't drain out. And uh, normally as a precaution, I build an extra one just in case they overflow the toilets or something. Because, you know, some of y'all be having, you know, y'all poops be out of control. Uh, let's get water flowing over here. We'll just build a water pipe here, straight down the middle, and uh, we'll do this, connect it there and there, and then here and here. Cool. Let them build that. So the next room we need to work on is going to be, we got a holding cell, we need a shower now, we need a yard, we need a kitchen, we need a canteen. So let's build a kitchen, because the kitchen's going to be what's going to take a good bit of time to create. Uh, we'll do this separately off of this. I don't like the kitchen being that close to the, I don't like the kitchen being that close to the, I guess the canteen can be here. All right, the canteen can be here. And the kitchen can be like in the back over here. Y'all see how much money I'm spending, right? I want y'all to pay attention. I, this is the first time I want y'all to watch my pockets, huh? Uh, let's go. Uh, let's do, we can do, for the canteen, uh, we'll have a minimum. First of all, we need to build a door here. Or I guess we could do two small ones. That, that This is going to drive a guard crazy. But it'll be okay. Okay. We need to build a door here and here so they can have good access. Um, we'll let them build that. Uh, keep it on this. Next, we need a yard. I think I'm going to have the yard be... It could be landlocked, really. Can I build fences this early? Yes, I can. Okay. We're going to do something like that. Something like that. The shower needs to be here. The shower can go ne right next to this one. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about putting a yard right here. I think the yard is best suited to be here. I hate how wide these hallways are. I really do. They're like really large, but it's okay. Requires an entrance. Let's get an entrance going. For the shower, we'll just make one entrance, uh, probably, probably on both sides. We'll do both sides. Let's let them build that out. 
Our prisoners are coming in in 12 hours. Prisoners are coming in 12 hours. So at least you guys get to see prisoners so far. We still got to build a kitchen overnight. We still got to build a canteen overnight. We got to build a shower overnight. And I think that's in a yard. After that, they're solid. Oh, I got them landlocked. Hold up. For this, these can be staff doors. I just don't want prisoners to come through there like that. I don't want them to have access. Come on, you guys got it. Y'all got it. We're going to need to hire guards very soon. We're not done with this. We did get done with the security part. Uh, they're, they're researching this now, so we'll let them have it. So this is done. Let's make this our canteen. Canteen is where prisoners eat. They're, that's where they're going to be getting their meals at. I want this closed off. I guess I'll wait till they're done. So all they need is a serving table in here. That's where they're going to put the food at. I normally do something like dish. Oh, of course, it doesn't line up. That stuff kills me. We'll do it like that. Here, do, do it like this. I think three is enough for now. Now we need uh, tables and benches. That's all we need left. We'll probably do it this way. And then the benches. It's a little tight. It's a little tight. We could put a trash can in there too. It's a little tight. I'm not going to cap to y'all. It's a little tight. But, I mean, hey, I mean, it, it's working so far, I guess. This is landlocked for now. I need to go ahead and put a door here. We can just put a large jail door, like, right there. And then uh, these guys, I know they're, they're pressured right now. We're racing against time, guys. It's the great. Oh, I need more room for deliveries over here. Hold on. Because they can't store this stuff. We also need to get a storage set up as well. Uh, most likely just do the storage, probably just on the back side of this. And I'm probably going to hire two more workers. How, what's the cost a day? 100 per day? We'll just hire two more. It needs electricity. I'm really not ready for prisoners, but, you know, it's going to be what it's going to be at this point. It's going to be what it's going to be. The canteen at least has power. I'm not going to have no food for them. I don't know if I should deny these prisoners for a day or should I let them in? The kitchen's done. I'm going to get this kitchen set up really quick. You don't even need that. Just do, do we have double doors? Yeah, we do. Just do a staff double door here. And for the kitchen, let's go ahead and designate it as a kitchen. So all we need is a cooker, a fridge, and a sink. That's all they need. For now, we just need, we can put the fridges over here. Oh gosh. We can do something like that. And then the cookers can be on the on the other side of that. That should be good for, for now. And then uh, for the sinks, we could just have two sinks as of now. That should hold up. And I always put a staff door, like kind of right here. That's so they don't have to go all the way through my prison to bring this or through the canteen. They could just kind of walk around and go through here if they need to bring any food, supplies, or anything like that. So uh, we're getting there. I got six hours to my prisoners come in. I'm going to keep it, you know, business as usual. I'm going to just keep it rolling. Kitchen is built. They got cookers and things coming in. Good, good, good. We need to hook up electricity to it. And we're also going to need water coming out here, too. For the sinks. I'd be stressing these guys out. Let's get our shower ready as well. 
because our shower is now prepared. Oh, snap. My bad. Rooms. Uh, we need a shower. This is going to be the yard right here. I get my prisoners in three hours, bro. For now, let's do the, let's do something like this. I'll build a fence. Because I, I don't want these prisoners to be able to just walk out of my prison, right? We'll build a fence. Do it. And we'll do that right there. And for I'll just put a staff door here. So they can't. They For now, they're going to be landlocked. They can't get out. That's all we want is they can't get out. Electricity should be over there. What's the problem? I never connected it. That's the problem. I got you. For the shower, the shower should be quick. There's not really much to install. We'll just do uh we'll just do something like that for now and then drains we'll just put the drains here it'll be all right okay they got showers they got that we need we need to get two guards in and ev and as you can see my doors are wide open for right now but once we get our guards they're going to shut we'll get two guards and we need two cooks in the kitchen to get us going and this will complete this basic detention center Yeah, that's done. They gave me the money from it. Good job. Thank you. Okay, shower is up. They just need water now. And uh, after that, that's going to be it. There's going to be a lot of contraband in here. I know it. Take it through the yard. And then to here. And then just take a small pipe and just do that. For now. My prisoners are two hours away. Most likely, I'm going to keep these episodes at max 30 minutes. My prisoners are coming. At max, I'm going to keep these episodes between 30 minutes. After that, I'm, I think that's, I think that's going to be it for that. Uh, I don't want these to be too long because uh, I want to make sure I have time to think about, you know, the next time we play. For this, let's do something like... I want, like, a pathway. Can I get a pathway outside or something? Maybe not. Oh, I got it right here. Let's do... We can do something like that. We can do something like that. Hopefully, they built that quickly because my prisoners are an hour away. And, uh-oh. That means it's time to get real, guys. 30 minutes to my prison. Oh, I got to hire an accountant real quick. Hold on. They did research that. She has an office. And we can research more stuff. Let's get into psychology we'll do maintenance and we will do there we go uh we'll do health we'll do something like that that money spent these guys are 20 minutes away guys and we got prisoners here guys we got prisoners arriving i only got two guards for right now that's all i got i can hire a third one my cash flow is going down though oh yeah i'm definitely got to hire another one there we go everybody's gonna be booked are y'all gotta sleep in the holding i ain't got no beds in the holding room Ooh, that's really bad let's get some beds going on for now, let's do bunk beds. We could just, you know, stack them up along here. How many are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, four, six. Ooh. One of you guys are going to be sleeping on the floor. One of y'all going to be sleeping. One of y'all. Eh. I guess we'll do that. Otherwise, one of y'all is going to be on that floor tonight. So pretty much when they come in, they get searched. And as you can see, this guy already had drugs on him. I don't have solitary, so there's nothing I can really do about that. So he, he'll have to wait. Dude has some scissors on him. So now uh, now what you see now is the fog of war, right? So what fog of war means, if I, if I don't have a unit or a police officer in the room, you won't be able to see in that room. So as you can see, um, if I don't keep a police officer in here, I won't be able to see in the room. Like the shower has nobody there. Canteen has nobody there. There's nobody in these rooms. Maybe a couple workers, but that's pretty much it. There has to be somebody in there uh, for it to be like that. I don't know why the cops want to hang out in there. I hate that. I still got... They... they huh? 
Okay, we're going to end his punishment. I don't have solitary for him. I end his punishment, put him in the thing. I'm about to hire more guards. Okay, I didn't have solitary, so I can't, you know, do that to him. I could, but he would have to sit there and wait. Okay, the episode has just reached 30 minutes, so we're going to stop here. When we come back, we're going to need to, the prisoners right now, they're in the yard. Um, they're chilling right now. We have three guards, and we have seven prisoners, so we're already outnumbered. We got to get more. This is their schedule for right now. We will go ahead and fix this when we get back because I don't like the schedule. Lock up, shower, lock up, shower. It's, it's too much. Free time. It's, I don't like this. It's a very, you know, uh, specific way I like to do mine. But for now, this is how our prison looks for now, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy the rest of the series. Your boy C. Justice is going to get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Your boy is out. I will see y'all in the next one. I think I'm going to go ahead and accept my next grant. $20,000 advance payment, $20,000 finish payment. Raise your prisoner capacity to 15. I think I'm going to do that one. And if we could choose one more. We're too early for prison uh, visitation rights. We could do the medical. We could do those two. Okay. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the game. Play hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you would like. Your boy is gone. Peace out.